eight seventeen Saturday the fifth Western Jamaica. <clears throat> What's going on? But this one, I kind of forget what I was going to do today. If I was going to zoom in. If I zoom in. Okay. It didn't look right. <clears throat> I think it's a little crooked. Oh! What am I? Am I zoomed in? What the fuck is going on? Zoomed in now. Come on, man. What the fuck? Alright, I think that looks good. Zoomed in now. 820 is in the top left of the screen. See how he moves. He's moving fast, no? Where's the screen? It's coming straight down almost. And this is hope everybody knows the Secret Service scandal was not about that. It's a cover for a coup attempt. If you go Google on Friday night, it was Friday the 13th, like 11.30 at night. There's a couple of news stories that came out about these four bombs that went off when Obama landed. I don't know if he was driving through town and they went right off or what. That's the Secret Service sex scandal. Um, hum, what is it? Rare Earth Elements. Can you hear them talk on the news about rare earth elements? That's code for human organs and human eye harvesting. And that's what the blind, the barefoot blind activist, lawyer, father, son, friend, student. Okay. You better get that story off of the news. Something happened with the San Diego charges in 94. Eight of their players from that team are dead already. I think it's the San Diego Chargers from 94, they won the Ch AFC Championship. Something's wrong there. It's 
Something's wrong in the Norway shooting, you know, this is a high Freemason event. The AUF, which is the, um, the Youth League, the youth, political youth organization in Norway, which is very powerful, very organized. They were organizing and promoting a worldwide boycott of Israel to support Palestine. And the leader of their party was on the island the day before and gave them the go-ahead. Okay? And the day before that day, I think also, this is um, July 20th in 2011, Ziggy Marley comes out and supports Israel and tells people don't boycott them. And then the next day, Anders Brevik, who's a product of the DARPA Project Camelot, Project, Project Camelot 1964, Johan Galling Montauk Project, um, which goes to the Dana Project, the Dana.org Fund Project, which took uh, Montauk type programming for people who were going to go into the media and have a press, you know. Anders, the naming protocol, Anderson, Andrew, Andrew, Andrea, um, Dana, Dana Priest, Dana Milbank. Look at those people who broke stories back, okay? The Dana, um, okay, so that was a Freemason event. You see those dates there and the cover up everything? Listen, people, the Israel thing, Netanyahu and these guys want to fulfill a messianic prophecy and start war. There's a demonic war presence in the world that has to be conquered or something, whatever. But, um, yeah, Netanyahu, if you look last week, the, the previous defense minister in Israel came out and said he doesn't trust the guys running Israel and that they're crazy, the messianic crazy, he said. Look up ex-defense minister of Israel. Um, what else is in the news this week? Look at how he's going pretty straight down. How is that happening? And he's getting brighter now, right? Mr. What is that guy? Ne what is his name? Kneeling on his ass? Kneeling assy Ticey? He's always laughing. I never saw a black guy with a name like that laughing all the time. I don't understand that. Kneeling assy. Lying my ass. What? I have to figure out his name. Is this star guy? They work. Oh, they have. It looked like. Let me tell you something. That place in New York City, the Lincoln Center, they have a couple of guys over there that they Freemason control, I think, running Lincoln Center, that Lincoln Center music place and that Hayden Planetarium thing over there in New York City by Columbus, by Columbus Circle, the Bumbleclot. Oh, Bumbleclot, that's 59th Street or something, what is it? Down here, it's definitely later. I'm gonna leave you, people. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Oh, I'm gonna leave you. Look at that, he's just sticking to the side of the screen there. Almost.
coming over later. Let's see, it's 10 minutes. I'm gonna go get a lighter and a cup of coffee. Light my split. Oh, Father, help this place.
still here. Come over a little bit. Right. It's 8.36. It's my coffee. You know I got my spliff too. <clears throat> got to sit here with you, man. You know I need my fucking spliff. Fuck. Fuck, I'm gonna sit here with you. Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to move the camera, huh? He's about <clears throat> almost 20 degrees above the horizons now. <clears throat> Camera is a Kodak Sport 100 little thing, waterproof. It says high def. There's a funny codec in it, it's very difficult. I'm producing these at 720p setting. And then compressing them using Pizarra movie to MPEG converter. Converting it to NTSC DVD quality. And then uploading it. And then deleting the original, yeah.
so interesting people and in understanding this tracking I'm doing here you can see the way he's coming kind of straight down he's starting to come off turn a little now but the important thing to notice is that he's getting brighter at this stage if this was a typical transit through the night sky, don't be fooled by their retrogrades and all the things to confuse you, because it's to confuse you. If you have planets in orbit in the night sky, they're going to pass through, but they're not going to make the snake-like movement that this is making. This is, that's because this is coming from outside our orbits of our galaxy tearing into the matrix on an eccentric elliptic apogee. This is the apogee of the eccentric elliptic orbit where he's turning. So that's why you saw him in the other video from Yes Indifferently. He's fine and small and they can fool you and say, oh, this is just his, his orbit and he's coming like this, but he's getting brighter and then he's getting dim. He's white, fine white, getting bright white now. Is he still on the screen? Where am I? He's coming down. And then he's going to recede into a fine red dot. He's going to go to a red glow and then a fine deep red dot after nine at the 9.15 to 9.30 <clears throat> but the, the horizon is usually too much clouds on the low horizon to see him because he's very low right now he's about I guess it's more than 10 degrees I guess I should have a thing about 15 maybe degrees or something above the horizon just about due west that's Looks like he's turning. Hmm? Go up to 26 minutes on the tape. And 8.44 over here. Sorry I can't focus or nothing. That Give thanks so it's working. Whatever. See on the news about a week ago? When was it? It's like third of last week of April, I guess. In California, they say a, a Montauk monster washout. Do you believe that stuff? Or do you think they're just trying to make us think things? Hmm? Last week, I wonder if they're just trying to make us think things. What do you think? They said on Seal Beach in California. Is that cold? Oh. I'm a nibber. You're still on ship there, huh? We get in Lodo, huh? I have to move the camera soon.
I see organizations on the internet that have people coded. And I see them, well, the first ones to use the censorship. They must have set up the, all those, what do you call them? Those YouTube and internet censorship things that come up. I don't know what you call them, CISPA, da da da, whatever. I see organization, the first ones to set up things to attack people with censorship tools. So they must have been the ones that set it up. They have all things set up so you can come. Still on the screen, dear? Getting brighter, though. See that? People don't want you to hear wild, crazy voice again. They only want you to hear their voice. Calm down. Sit on your hands. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. Everything will be okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Close your eyes. Look, I'm not against sleep and meditation, but when you have a war to fight, when you have a war to fight, don't tell me to go to sleep, man. That's the worst thing to do. And don't laugh. <clears throat> it's better not to be around me. I mean, you look like you must drop off the screen soon. You're like right on the bottom, huh? You look like you're gonna go run in the outfield and make a turn right before you hit the wall. Catching it, catch one of them long drives to center field. Or left center. Or right center. Yeah, it looks like you're running out the right center field. Catch one of them long drives, run and catch it over your shoulder. Put your glove up. Catch and just turn. The same way and run back in, inning over. Now the moon is up, you know, this is super moon, right? Boy, oh, that must be affecting the brightness, huh? wonder how that's supposed to work now. What are you going to tell me, the moon is making him bright or less bright? I guess we're in a relative torsion zone here, huh? Bear with y'all. That moon business. If you look, we're at the bottom of the screen, and he's moved over just a small portion. So you can see he's really. <clears throat> On the sharp eccentric okay the when you look at him from the top of the screen to the bottom that angle is called the eccentric you just go off the screen you're gone all right
the um okay what time is it see 8.52 I just adjusted the camera um let me get this the oh I readjusted it but that coming down angle is the eccentric <clears throat> piece of the orbit to understand the um, elliptical apogee portion of the orbit <clears throat> You have to study the brightness, which gets brighter, whiter, now turn reddish and dimmer and finer. <clears throat> so when you study, when you translate that brightness component into numerics and combine the brightness quotient with the eccentric quotient calculations that's how you prove your with your stellar parallax that this is coming from an intergalactic event that's how the stellar parallax proves that this is a tear in the matrix you have to combine the light the brightness quotient with the eccentric calculation and you get confirmation of the eccentric elliptical nature of this tear in the matrix His Majesty Starship His Imperial Majesty Negus Negas Return King of Kings I know the Prince must be with him too in Peter Tosh of Belmont. Yeah. I guess we're gonna find out some things, huh? And tell some shit story about my patron. I think one time I tried to upload this movie file directly to YouTube and it tells me like 10,000 years it'll be done.
What about the secret code they have in MP3s to identify the music back to the CDDB library or IDDB library, whatever? Yeah. Like if you up to upload a YouTube video and you have some different music playing in the background, that's from a studio. <coughs> There's a secret code in there because they can identify that music right away now. It's incredible. <clears throat> they do that on, they've been doing that on printers. Those, all those inkjet printers, all the inkjet printers have like a special couple of dots that they print out in very light yellow or some it's a secret code that like when some if you print something they know how to trace trace it back to that printer and know where the printer was sold they know fucking everything now Bumblebee. what do they know about me the fuck? What do they know? I used to have a Canon XL2. I still have a Canon XL2. I did a blog about it. It's out on the internet about... If you search about this Canon XL2. Because when it went out on me, I couldn't believe it. I knew it was mysterious. I think they sent a time traveler back fuck with my Canon, put a spell on me, my Canon XL2, I had a Canon XL2, if anybody knows anything about camera, they know if I had a Canon XL2 now, I would have tear them a new hole in the sky a long time ago with this stuff, <clears throat> that Canon XL2 was the best, best, best if you look at it you see it's the big it has the biggest lens of any video camera you're going to see once you come out of the top studio range into the people range of the world the canon xl2 it's the only video camera with a real lens capture real light lens the lens was like half of the price really like 2000 us just for the lens I ever tell you the story about what happened to that really how it got disabled oh god I know the curse is on look like you're getting a little dim oh We're going into the red phase, but it's also more Kemsy, more Kemsy trail now on the lower horizon. You see him blinking a bit. So this isn't really going to work so good for Stella Parallax because he's going to be cold off too much, but let it run. What did I say? 50 minutes I got to run? Got another.
I'm not, I don't think I'm going to catch too much more of this because this is going to run out. It's just going to sit there turn into a red dot. Maybe come down a little bit more I guess. So you can go five more minutes. Five more minutes. And it's gonna take like five hours to convert and like six hours to upload. Four hours to convert. It takes like half the day to get this converted and upload, you know. This is going to be the last one, I think. I'm kind of finished with this. The people can do whatever you want with this world. Later. If anyone wants to pearl a great price, you should come see me. If you want to pearl a great price, you should come see me. Before it goes back to the bottom of the sea, if you want it, I don't recommend it, but someone, I guess, should have it. I wonder if I should go get the other little chip show you his tail he's gonna just run off to the a little bit I'm not gonna get nothing fuck it fuck it one satellite way out there they're playing with He's going behind clouds now, so you see him get a little dim and a little bright. It's 9.06. like to let the camera run out but I'm afraid if I let it run to you it must know if it goes to the end of the space it must be able to save the file correctly huh? I should just let it run out to fill up memory if it corrupted the file that would be a real duppy event man if it were the people who write this software want to know some crazy things the people who write the software for Sony boombox remote controls 
All right. You hear the people who write the software for the remote control functions, who design the remote control, what power they give you in the Sony remote control for their boom boxes. Most of them don't have a mute button, you know. And when you try and tune the FM stations sequentially, like to scan, like if you want to find music, they don't really let you scan through. They make you go one by one by one each station. It's type of this very subtle way that they make you know that they're in control. They control the skies. Yeah, them people at Sony, there's very subtle things they do, people, too. Like the way they killed President Kennedy, and they let you know things, but and with the Warren Commission and all these things, they, but they let you, they make you know that you'll never know the truth. They want you to tell you that you'll never know the truth. Oh, fuck them, because I know things. Look, you see him getting small, red, and he's, he doesn't even look like he's going any further. Well, maybe he's going to turn more, let's see. This is going to run out soon, people. We're at 51 minutes, 51 and a half minutes, and I don't think I have...